Hello everyone, my name is Thomas. I'm here with John, one of our 3D printer masters. And today we're going to learn a little bit about 3D printing. So 3D printing is a great way to rapidly prototype, and when used properly, it can make some amazing things. Today we'll be learning about the Up Mini and Affinia 3D printers. These printers work by laying down ABS filament, kind of like a hot glue gun does, layer by layer. Because liquid ABS needs a surface to print on top of, the printers generate support material, which can be removed later on when the print is finished. To get started, you'll need a .stl file. You can make a .stl file from any CAD software or find a design online. First, select the printer you'll be using. If all printers are busy, you can add your name to the queue and wait in the lobby for an available printer. Once you have a printer, initialize it. Put your file on a USB and load it up into the UP software. You can load multiple parts into the same job. And once everything is loaded, click on the place button to automatically position your parts. Rotate allows you to rotate your part around the selected axis. Select the degree you would like to rotate, and then click on the axis you wish to rotate around. Scale allows you to change the size of your part. Type in a scaling factor or select from the preset options. To downsize your part, your scaling factor should be less than one. Move allows you to rearrange your parts. Select the part you'd like to move, and select how many millimeters you would like to move it by. To move it, select a direction to move it in. Negative numbers can be used to move your object in the opposite direction. You can also drag and drop objects by holding control and clicking and holding the part while using the mouse to drag it to your desired location. Note that hitting place will reset all movements that you have made. It is important to note that several objects are difficult to print due to their geometry. A few examples include large flat objects. For those, we recommend laser cutting or water jetting them. And objects that have thin, long features that need support are also hard to print because removing support on these will actually break the part. Objects with features smaller than three millimeters should also not be printed because the resolution of the printer doesn't allow for features smaller than that. Once you have your part correctly positioned, Click on Print. You can now hit Preferences to change certain settings such as infill, support settings, and support angles. When you're ready, hit Print. Your printer will start flashing quickly as it receives the print. When the job has successfully been sent, the printer will give you the time it will take to finish. We recommend waiting until the first few layers have been set down, as this is where the large share of failures occur. And there you have it. When your print is finished, you can pick it up from the completed parts bin in the 3D print room. And if you're looking to learn more, you can always contact John or Alexis or any other PI that's on duty at the time.